Hi viewers, welcome to Ziv STV. In this video, Collection is going to show you the factory custom of Dear Earnhardt Jr. and his hauler. So of course, it is a custom and you cannot even find it in stores and don't even like expect for a re-release anyway. And without much further delay, let's just start with the review of Dale and his hauler. So of course, in the Piston Cup race, there are all these haulers, but Mattel never made them, can but they, so they just cancel or never even think of making them anymore. But leaving us a lot of choices that we could have, the factory customs and customizers decided to make their own haulers that, that Mattel cancelled or they just never plan on releasing them. As for Dale Earnhardt Jr, he was released in 2007, 2008 and 2009 as his own unique model. And for the motor speedway of the South set and his rubber tires variation in 2010, he was released in a model that was like Nitro 8, Clutch 8 and No Stall. So of course, like I just hinted, it is a factory custom so you can only get them on eBay if you want to have the chance here. So now let's get on the review here and we're going to start with Dale Earnhardt Jr. So of course, I did pick this one up because it's in the incorrect model like the RPM model because what's the point of getting the correct one when I can just wait for his re-release. There may be a chance if you ask me since he was released in 2007, 2008 and 2009. So we're going to start by looking at the hood here of Dale himself. You can see the Dale Earnhardt Jr. logo and then his signature Dale Earnhardt Incorporated. He has the, the very normal expression that all his models like this one does have. Dale does not have a grill like most of the racers does have like Vuzine RPM. Here you can see his headlights which is a little like off-centered because it's like that and like that. I would prefer like that, but you have number 8 on the right one, his mouth with the, the red inside it and then the white teeth. On the side, he has light ear on his fenders like the Cars 3 stock cars have. In Cars 1, he was the only one that had it on the fenders. Black light ear tires with the grey rims. And you can see his contingency sponsors. Nitrate, Piston Car Revolting, Wood Springs, No Star, Octane Gang. Violin, Gaskets, Gas Sprint, Easy Idle, RPN, Little Talky Pistons, Leakless, Retread, and Clutch 8. Here you can see number 8 and in the background we have these, like how the 14, like the 3 fingers of going to the back right there. On the roof, number 8, the roof flaps, and then the Dale Earnhardt Jr. signature. Very small, which is why I do not like China Customs, but I don't have a choice anyway. Dale Earnhardt Incorporator right there. No gas cap or indentation either. Not even on the right side. Here's his base. Not that much exciting because this is a custom. Here you can see the back window and his junior logo, Dale Earnhardt Jr. right there. On the back, Dale Earnhardt Jr. Incorporated with the taillights, number 8 on the left one. And that's pretty much it, quite a simple, but unfortunately didn't make it to Cars 3. Kind of, kind of feels like he got replaced by Chase Elliott, Bubba Wallace and Ryan Blaney, but we don't know that either. Now let's move on to the hauler itself. So we'll start by taking a look at the semi itself because he's the front. He has a very happy expression which I'm not a fan of it, but like I said, gotta let that one go because it is a custom anyway. The cap here says Dale Jr. number 8. Here's how his front looks like. On the side, he has number 8. Very, very simple. Not much of the decals because he, the customizer removed the Mac logo. You have the gas tank and then the platform that goes up to the door. He has the rear view mirrors, no glass. Here's how the other side looks like. You have the smokestacks, the springs, the mud flaps, and no license plates because it is a custom. Same thing for the base. 
there's not much riding because it is a custom and then they just decide by themselves. And that's pretty much it for Dale's Semi in comparison to Mac. Of course, they just used Mac and then they just painted what they want to decide so that they could match Dale's logo itself. And just for laughs and giggles, here is Francesco Semi. Of course, they have the similar red colouring. Same goes to how the racer would look like. Now moving on to Dale's trailer. Of course, it has the Hudson Hornet Piston Cup logo. Of course, the details are not accurate because the China Customs just decide what they want. But I feel like it's really cool because you can just think of what you can do with the decals on the trailer. Dale Jr. signature, the picture of himself, number 8, and then his contingency sponsors like most of the racers would have, or trailers. You do have a little storage, I don't know what it's for, but maybe a storage or electrical charger, something that you would like take out. Here's how the bottom looks like. On the back, you have the Hudson Hornet Pistol Cup logo again. Dale Jr himself and then the tail lights number eight above the right one the decals on both sides are the same on the roof you have the very simple number eight which i don't know if it's upside down or not because they are the same but i'm going to assume this side which i like that because if it's upside down it's going to be very very weird now to open up the trailer itself it's just it's kind of similar to mac hauler itself you just got kind of like pull the tab right here, pull it out like that, flip it down, and then you can see the air compressor right there, the little support. And if you're really thinking of it, of course it does do the size very very well. You can just like that back up Dale Jr. like that. And that's how it is, Dale Jr. needs transportation, but we all know that his hauler doesn't exist. And that's pretty much it for Dale J Earnhardt Jr. and his hauler. Now if you are still a little bit unsure, Dale Earnhardt Jr. and his hauler of course did appear in the Motor Speedway of the South. We didn't see his hauler, but that's okay. Like I said, Dale needs transportation. As for the Los Angeles International Speedway, he did appear like Toward the beginning when Lightning McQueen was gone missing and then the reporters were like talking to all the other cars and then one of them was the racer Dale Earnhardt Jr. As you can see this is how he almost looked like and then the hauler was in the background. Again not accurate but we can decide what we want to do because it's a custom. And then a little bit later before the final race of the day itself he was like talking to King and it was like good luck on the final race. It was kind of like that and then the PD was like that towards his front and back tires and then also on the ending credits where he the king and Mrs. the king went to the Radio Springs Museum with Mader to see Doug Hudson and also before I end off do keep in mind that this is the RPM model which is not the model that Dale does have it is kind of like the RPM model would have which his name is Winfred Bradford Rutherford so you can see right there and also I selected the other three for this one you have Vuzine Ryan Shields Johnny Blamer from 4 Wheel Drive and Fiber Fuel also known as Brush Kerber number 56 so of course they have the same expression but they don't do that for the car street stock cars which is definitely an improvement as you can see, they all look like clones, which is not that surprising either. And as I mentioned before, RPM and Vuzine, Winford and Ryan does have a grill, unlike Dale does. As you can see, Johnny is another one that doesn't have a grill, but grills represent mustache, which I like that a lot. And that's gonna end off the day here. I hope that you enjoy watching this video and also be my subscriber. And if you look for more fun, 
you can join the Disney Cars and Planes community. The link to that is in the description below. The community has rules, so please read the rules before joining the community. I'll see you guys over there, but before that, let me know what you think about Dale Earnhardt Jr. and how he could make it himself into a stock car and a next gen. Bye now and good night. Boom! And thanks for watching.